red flags or no-nos when talking to stakeholders about testing? Is there anything Oi. that you avoid doing or saying? Oi. Um, saying that you're wrong. And, and, and as I actually listen, so I listened to this interesting podcast. Um, so I'm, gonna, I'm going somewhere with this. Cool. I listened to this interesting podcast uh, with, called Erica Taught Me, and it's a, it was an interview with Stephen Barnett. And he talked about this concept where when you're having a conversation, you want them to stay open to your ideas. So if you say someone that you're wrong, then there's that risk of them closing off. So that's like um, a, a no-no. Um, so I, I try to always, like even if I'm thinking that, to be honest, I try to keep on asking questions and then making it clear that I'm like, you know, um, I, I know there are proper terms for this, like, um, like repeating back to make sure I've understood that I'm on the same page and so that my train of thought is going the right direction. So that would be one thing. Um, and then and then not acknowledging that their experiences are valid because kind of what, yes, that one, because um, from, so from my frame, I'm an experienced test professional but then from their frame, even if they're not in testing, they've seen it be done. Presumably, if, they're, if they want to even have like a more strongly worded conversation with me, seen it way, be done in ways that they thought was done well. And then especially they could also have been, like say at Intrakia, they've been at the company for many years. So they have, they have more of a belief that they know what's right. So then I, so it's like having to, so the, the no-no is like disregarding people's opinion or their experience and not really 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 make an effort to see things from their eyes because you can genuinely you can genuinely both be right um i'm just having another thing so yeah no disregarding opinion from the stakeholders about testing um and then making promises you can't keep so like in terms of trust and this i wouldn't say this is just about say stakeholders of testing in general is like people say you know trusting is hard to earn but easy to lose so um when I'm w w talking to stakeholders if I don't know I say I don't know I I I'd never pretend I know more than I do I'll say I, I don't know but someone on my team is much better at this than me I will ask them and get back to you um or I'll say um this that maybe we could consider that but I need to read up more on it first um and i've found that that people can respect if someone doesn't know or they they, they it doesn't i i think it, you know, people could think it would be used against you um but i've always valued people who are like real with themselves and knowing that where their knowledge stops and where their learning needs to begin um there's a really good um, I don't know if it's like a blog post or a conference talk by Elizabeth Zagroba on the power of doubt, uh, but I'd like to recommend that. Um, uh, and what else? What other? And then the last one would be spending more time. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm trying to frame. Um, okay, I guess I'm, I'm answering the question, but not quite in the way it was worded. Um, I am talking a lot now, I guess, because it's an M and A, but I actually don't speak that much, it's especially in the initial discussions uh, with stakeholders. I spend a lot of that time listening uh, and making sure I understand. So, I, like, I take notes, um, and then I will share my understanding of our conversation and of their concerns and of their wants and needs back with them after. Uh, and, and to make sure we're on the same page before I move forward. Um, I do that actually with most of my meetings because communication <laughs> is a surprisingly hard thing for a lot of people <laughs> to, yeah, I, I'm, I'm quite over anxious in that way.